right, Ryan, congratulations. 113-109 win over Golden State. Now, it looks like Coach has been going with a smaller lineup, three guards towards the end of the games. Why do you think that is, and how does that benefit you guys? Uh, I think it spreads us out a little bit more on offense, give Blake's a little bit more room in the paint. Who we have when we have Randy Foy out there and Baron Davis and uh, Eric Gordon, uh, we got perimeter scores and uh, guys who can create their own shot if shot clock does wind down. So I think that's why he's been going with the lineup, especially tonight. They're a team that you know switches a lot and they play small basketball tonight too. So I think that's why Coach went with the lineup. Looks like in the third quarter you guys were able to penetrate a little bit more. How were you able to attack the Golden State zone tonight? Uh, well, we try to get the ball on the inside, and then uh, it's a Blake because I know he's going to draw a lot of attention. One dribble, he's at the rim. So once once guys looked, then we had to cut in there, and guy had a space in the corners and um, be ready to shoot the ball, and that's why we were able to exploit it a little bit. But it did give us a little bit of problems because they went to a 3-2 zone where we couldn't really see the back line of offense, and uh, that's where we struggled a little bit at. But I'm glad we were able to come out with this win tonight uh, against a team that you know scored a high-powered offense. Um, we split with them two here, and two, on, two up at their place, so I'm just glad we don't have to see them right no more after at the rest of the season. Now the bench had 31 points for you guys tonight. How key is the bench's performance? Uh, the bench performance is uh, you know vital for us because either when we're not coming out with a lot of energy or we do p build a lead, we got guys in there who can make plays, such as Randy Foy, you know, Ike Diago's been playing well for us, Al Farouk and Eric Blesso. So even when we do have the lead, the confidence those guys can push it even, even higher. Or if we don't, they come in with that energy, with their speed, and I think that's going to help us further down the road, and especially when we go on this long road trip in February. Now lastly, there was a pretty key play. Blake Griffin hit a three with seconds left on the clock, 40-something seconds left. Was that the play call, Blake Griffin three? That was the play call. You know, I, I, we work on that in practice, and there's a lot of options on that one play. Of course, you know, we look for, you know, Eric Gordon. We look for, you know, Baron Davis coming back in. But we knew that we weren't going to play, that we were going to play out Blake, and we wanted to get a shot on the rim. Um, and I'm glad it went in. So, you know, he's been working on that. He's been shooting threes in practice. So it's not new to us, but, uh, you know, we're happy that it did go down, and he is – leading us in three point percentage. So not only he might be in a, not only is he in a dunk contest, but I think we gotta talk to Stern to get him in a three point contest. We'll see what we can do. Thanks Ryan. Yeah, you will. With Ryan Gums, I'm Madeline Burke for LAC TV. For more on the Clippers, check out clippers.com and for ticket information call eight six six four Clippers.